Therefore, I decided to create my own custom installation bash script that runs all re installed. First thing that I have to cheat, do, yeah, that you can download from my homepage. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create your own personal Arch Linux installation script to install and configure Arch Linux fully automated. Many Arch Linux distributions like Endeavor or Manjaro are chipped today with own graphical installers. And even the Arch Linux itself includes nowadays a text-based installation script. However, these installers are still too tedious for me and all existing graphical or terminal-based scripts are not really transparent for me what they really do in the background. And I want to have full control and understanding about my system. Therefore, I decided to create my own custom installation bash script that runs all required commands to install Arch Linux. The manual installation of Arch Linux is still the recommended official way to install Arch Linux. And this installation is very well documented in the Arch Linux wiki. It lists all the commands that are necessary for installation of an Arch Linux based system. There are great videos from other YouTubers available today and that shows all installation steps in detail. With this knowledge, with these learnings, I did my first installation of Arch Linux, experimented and when I was satisfied, I wrote down all the commands and put them into a bash script. And I have a nice present for you. I've created a Arch Linux installation cheat sheet yeah, that you can download from my homepage. You can find the link to that cheat sheet in the description below. And by running my personal installation script, I can automate almost my entire installation, can relax, sit back, have a nice documentation as a positive side effect and can run the installation identically in the same way on all of my machines. You can find the my latest version of my installation script on GitLab. You can find the link to that script in the description below. Let me show you how it works. The perfect starting point to learn the commands that are required to install Arch Linux manually is the Arch Linux wiki. You go to the homepage archlinux.org and open here on the right side the installation guide. And here you can find all required commands to install Arch Linux the recommended way, um, not using in, an installer. It's about using the single commands. And this website includes all the information that you need. Another information source, of course, is YouTube. Just search for Arch Linux install or, or installation guide and you get a list of great videos. I have also studied all the resources and um, I selected the commands that I prefer to install Arch Linux. And I put everything in this Arch installation cheat sheet that you can download from my website. Also, I think a super condensed and easy to use starting point for your own experiments. And this was in the past the input to write my own installation scripts. I save my installation scripts on GitLab. GitHub or GitLab are the perfect hosting platforms because you can easily download the files via Git during the installation process. I will show you that in a minute. It's free of charge. And of course, you have an excellent version control to, for all of your experiments. Let's open here the first installation script. You see here is a bash script where all the commands are added that I need to install my system. And by running that script, you can automate the installation nearly 100%. To sync the time, to format the partitions, to create all the sub volumes for ButterFS, complicated commands that I don't want to enter Every time again, I want to automate this. The configuration of uh, ButterFS, the installation of the base packages, and so on and so on. Let me open the second script, which will configure my installation. 
uh, setting the time, installing all the packages that I prefer for my um, Arch Linux installation, setting the keyboard layout, the host name, setting the root password, the, adding the user, adding the user to the group wheel, um, asking for passwords, starting the services, everything is automated, including the grub bootloader installation. Now, this is the way how I ins install Arch Linux on all of my machines. Let me show you how it looks like in real. Okay, now we are ready to install Arch Linux with this custom script. I have created a virtual machine to do this, but you can also, of course, install in the same way on a real machine. What you have to do is to download the latest version uh, from the archlinux.org download page, the latest ISO. Um, I can use the ISO directly in my virtual machine. If you install on a real machine, then you have to create a bootable USB stick. Um, there are several programs available that you can use for that for all platforms. And then you are ready to go. You see here on the left side of the screen, that some manual steps are required that I will enter now, especially to um, prepare the hard drive for the installation. First command that I will enter is load keys de dash Latin one. Uh, now I have the German keyboard layout active. And let me increase the font size um, that you can follow the next step easier. Yeah, this should be much more easier to read. Next command that we need is to test the internet connection. Yes, it seems to work. If you uh, want to use a wireless network connection, you have to configure your network with the command IWCTL, very well documented in the Arch Linux Wiki. And now we are already there to configure our hard drive. We want to install Linux on VDA. That's why I enter the command gdisk slash dev slash VDA. I create a new partition. It's the number one. I use the starting point, the first sector. The last sector is plus 512 megabyte. This is the size of the partition. The code is EF004 EFI partition. The second partition is now the main partition where I want to install Arch Linux to. I can confirm everything. And now I write that configuration and confirm with Y. Let's see LSBLK if everything worked fine. Yes, I can see VDA1 and VDA2. Now I can start the installation with SYY to synchronize the packages. And now I'm able to download Git. And with Git, I get access to my GitLab server and I can clone the scripts. Now the download has started from a um, GitLab server. It's already done. I can switch into the installation directory and I start the first script. It's dot slash one install. First thing that I have to do is to enter the names of the two partitions that I have just created. In my case, VDA1 and VDA2, one for the EFI, the other for the root partition. And the scripts now starts. ButterFS is already configured correctly. The hard disk and the partitions have been formatted in the right way. And now the base packages will be installed. The download, of course, takes some seconds, depending on the speed of your internet connection. And now the download of the internet packages are coming to an end and the installation starts. And now all commands of the first script 
have been successfully completed and it switched to the second script to configure Arch Linux. The first command is to set up Reflector. Reflector is a script um, to get the fastest mirror around your current location to install Arch Linux packages. Additional packages that I want to have on my Arch Linux system will be downloaded now. It's the Xorg server, it's the network manager, graphic drivers, um, unzip, zip, the Linux headers to compile packages. Everything will be downloaded now and the installation starts in a second. Installation starts now. Now I have to enter the password for the root user, confirm that password, define the password for my personal user. And now the services will be activated automatically. The grub bootloader will be configured in the background. One manual step is required. I need to uncomment one line of the sudoers file to give my personal user the possibility to execute any command in the name of the root user. And that's it. Installation is done. Yeah, of the base system in five minutes in 11 seconds. So this is fast, right? Okay, let's check if everything works fine. I exit the installation and I shut down the system. I reboot. Here we are, the grub bootloader comes up. And this system is up and running and I can log in with my username. I can open my home folder and everything works fine. And this is the perfect starting point for you, for your Linux experiments to install your desktop environment, your window manager, everything what you want. Yeah, and that's it for this video. I only can encourage you, get familiar with uh, Arch Linux, read the resources, learn how to install Arch Linux your way, um, download my cheat sheet. And if you like that video, please give me a thumbs up. Or if you want to see more of those videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.